White line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Trap line sitting on a pipeline waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens. That's how we live, and it sure feels fine. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree, and today we got a neat show for y'all. It's day two at the third annual Poche Plantation Arts and Crafts Show. I'm standing right here in front of the Poche Plantation. We've got some really neat stuff going on today. It is the red bean gumbo cook-off. It's gonna be the highlight. We're gonna have a bunch of kids singing, a bunch of kids dancing. We're gonna have some really good food and we're gonna check out all the vendors they got here. So y'all hang on. Cajun Living and Cooking is fixing to start right about now. <laughs> all right, y'all, here we are at Poche Plantation. It's Sunday morning, everybody's getting things set up. And it's the, what I like to call the calm before the storm. So I want to come through and show y'all some of the booths real quick, just flashing through. We got the LSU booths right here. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. How you doing? We got uh, another Bayou Girls Photography. They just now getting set up, getting things going. The Crescent City Swoon over here. Some really neat items they have. My nanny's booth and my daddy's booth. They're getting things going this morning. Just getting going. We got our favorite sweet booth right here. They're getting things lined up this morning. Ready for the crowd, y'all. Getting ready. Uh, things you can find, baby clothes and different designs by Darla. Really neat stuff out here. Coming over, we got jewelry. Jewelry on this side right here. Handmade signs. Really neat stuff, y'all. Real cool. Hang that in the uh, man cave and all. Moving up to the hip clip. Look, she's wearing one. She got the hip clip on. The hip my clip. Little phone, my money. Yeah. Look at there. Okay. That might be a new craze, y'all. The hip clip. It is. It's like one of the best. It's no more fanny packs. It's Fa now the new version of a fanny pack, but hands free, hassle free. It just clips on anything that you want. So whether you're wearing leggings, jeans, shorts, a skirt, it just clips. It's like a, a suspender type clip that just clips right like this you just pop that open look at that teeth in the middle and then whatever you're wearing it just clips clip it right that's on. easy hands free and it's great for travel you awesome come see tony the old jewelry design awesome hip clip uh, we got monograms it's really it's anything you want out here some, some of the neatest stuff out here from monograms and like they say they're just getting open it'll be so crowded in here you won't be able to walk in here earlier later but early this morning we wanted to show you all a few things look the lsu stuff uh monograms embroidery look how nice all this stuff looks y'all really really nice little baby bibs look and then you go to homemade crafts too also with the wood mike's custom art and look for the festive stuff over here on this side look at these ladies y'all doing good this morning ladies Look, she's painting already. Look, got enough out here already and still painting more. Really, really cool. And then you get to the end, that's where the food starts out here. The food starts out here. You got the old plantation home. You end up out here around the front. After a while, you won't even be able to walk through here. to be crowded, elbow room, people everywhere. But they got some neat stuff out at Poche Plantation. Y'all check it out. All right, y'all, made it over to the cook's booth, and uh, I grabbed the first cook. Let's get his name and where he's from. Rudy Russo, Hester, Louisiana. Now, have you cooked in this event before, Rudy? No, sir. No? Now, uh, I hear your dad cooks a real mean red bean gumbo. That's what I learned from. Gotcha, gotcha. So you're using some of the tricks he uses? Oh, yes, yes, sir. I got you. You got any secret things you got going? Uh, I know y'all put eggs sometimes. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. The secret seasoning. It's the, the secret, seasoning. The seasoning. Gotcha. It's all about the season. Well, awesome, bro. I'm going to wish you good luck. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, y'all. I got another cook. Let's get his name and where he's from. Jared De Lutcher, Louisiana. Now, you being from Lutcher, uh, give me a little history on the red bean gumbo. Where does this come from? 
Um, over here in the River Parishes, uh, of course, we cook a lot and do all that. Um, so during Lent, it originated, red bean gumbo originated during Lent. So we can eat gumbo on Fridays because on being Catholic, on Fridays you can't have uh, can't have meat. So right. that's, where, that's where the the gumbo, the red beans, and the bald eggs come into play. So that's where it originated at. Gotcha, gotcha. I always wondered that. I thought maybe just somebody spilled some stuff together or something, but there's a long, that goes way back too. Yeah, it goes a long time. A lot of people, I mean, even from neighboring parishes, never even heard of red bean gumbo. But, um, well, tell us quickly how to cook a red bean gumbo. When do you, how do you do it? You basically make your roux and all just like you're cooking a gumbo. And, um, you add your red beans. And, of course, we're not cooking during Lent, so we, we add our meat on, do it, and everything. Pretty much just like you're cooking a, a gumbo, but with red beans. So you're looking for a gumbo flavor, but yet a hint of red beans in there. Right, exactly. A lot of people, they, they prefer it. They, they like it. I love it. I tried it a couple of years ago, and it's awesome. It's outstanding. It's, I learned from my grandma, and my mom passed it down to my wife, and uh, it's just a family thing, you know? Awesome, bro. I'm going to wish you good luck. All right, man. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, y'all. I got some more cooks. Let's get their names and where they're from. Joey. St. Pierre. RJ St. Pierre. And where are you from? Lutcher. Okay. Now, you've been cooking red bean gumbos a while, too. Yep. Have you? Long now, time. Uh, give me a little history or something about red bean gumbo. Well, it's the St. James Parish thing. Pretty much nobody else knows anything about it. But uh, <clears throat> I know my great-grandma used to cook it. She used to, uh, today we got the emulsifiers and the food processes and stuff. But when she used to make it, she used to uh, boil her beans from scratch and then stretch a piece of cheesecloth over the pot and sit there and mash all the beans by hand and then throw all the holes away and uh, just have all the juice. So you don't want so, the holes in it? No. You want it no, smooth? It's all smooth. No, no and, beans. And, and what flavor are you looking for there? Are you looking more of a gumbo or a red bean or, 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 or a red bean gumbo? A red bean gumbo. <laughs> you heard it right here, y'all. Hey, good luck to y'all today. Very good. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. All right, y'all got some more cooks. Let's get their names and where they from. Uh, my name is Marty Michel from uh, Paulina, Louisiana. Right here. Dale Melanson from Hester. Y'all, they got it going on. I had to get in between them over here. They got such a good, I got smells coming from this one and smells coming from this one. And uh, we were talking about th this is synonymous with the area out here, the red bean gumbo. And uh, do you remember back in the day, your family cooking gumbo? Yeah, I mostly remember my, my old uh, mama that uh, she used to cook this red bean gumbo and, and uh, crack the raw eggs into the, into the gumbo. and course you don't touch it for a while and those eggs just come out like boiled eggs wow. yeah wow. that was cool I can't do that I boil my eggs cook them first. <laughs> yeah is that what you're doing too you'll boil your eggs first and then put them in yes sir sure do now you got a hand-me-down pot that looks yes, like sir. it's been down it's my dad's pot when he got out the service he got this from uh, all my surplus store and it's been in the family and this pot has won several gumbo cook-offs so you got an award-winning pot. I uh, the pot, not the cook. Okay, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna put it to the test and see if the cook can keep up with the pot. No, probably not. The pot's gonna win. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Good luck to both of y'all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, y'all made it over to another booth, and not only are they cooking in the red bean gumbo, they are also popping the cracklings too, the pellet cracklings. He just put some ice in there. Listen to this. Ice. And that gives them a full pop. As you can see, he's already got them up here. The cracklings get popped with the ice. They throw them up there, add the seasoning to them, give them all the love. And they do have a pot of red bean gumbo going too. So uh, good luck to y'all, fellas. Thank you very much. All right, y'all made it over to another booth. Let's get their names and where they're from. I'm Teresa McClung, I'm from Paulina. And I'm her daughter, Brooke McClung, and we're from Paulina. I was walking by here and y'all have some really neat items. Tell me a little bit about this. So these are called ginger snaps and what you do is you can take the um, snaps out and interchange them to whatever you would like. So here oh. we have an initial, so it's a T. You can um, use the first letter of your name. You can use the first letter of your last name. How many can you put on it? Well, this one you can hold two, but uh -huh. we do have some. Um, that you can put a bunch. Here. Oh, you wow. Up to five. Wow, that one's got the red hot love beat yep. too. Yeah, you can do your birthstone, you can match your children's birthstones. That is cool. Now, how uh, how can people get in touch with you? Well, we are on Facebook, under Brooks Creations. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
And your phone number? And the phone number would be 225-206-1129. Awesome. Thank you all for talking with me. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp, tailgating, or planning dinner. We make our own cracklings, beef jerky, hog head cheese, and sausage right here in the store. We also process deer and hogs. Junior's Meat Market has an abundance of groceries and frozen items, which include crab cakes, fried oysters, tilapia, and more. We have daily meat specials, and we cook plate lunches every other weekend. Stop by Junior's Meat Market today and bring home dinner. Lamar Dixon Expo Center, the crown jewel of Ascension Parish, supporting community development and charitable organizations. The center offers a wide variety of activities, such as outside show arenas, fully equipped barns, a newly renovated 4-H building, an Acadian-style chapel, RV parking with bathhouses, and large and small banquet rooms, just to name a few. Located in Gonzales and surrounded by hotels, restaurants, and great shopping venues. Come enjoy what Lamar Dixon Expo Center has to offer. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com Hydraulic Fabrication and Repair, located in Santa Mar, Louisiana, has been in the repair business for over 37 years, specializing in chrome rod, hydraulic tubing, and new cylinders. The benefit of a fully stocked warehouse of seals and chrome rods puts you back in operation, in most cases, in three days or less. We make hydraulic hoses and manufacture cylinders, offering 24-hour service and also pickup and delivery. Give Hydraulic Fabrication and Repair the opportunity to help your business. And remember, we can't fix it, it ain't broke! Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week, cooking demos on Saturdays, and customer service that will help you get the job done. RP Custom Trailers and Service is a fully stocked store for RV parts and accessories with essentials such as tank treatments, hoses, lenses, vents, power cords, cleaning supplies, and everything else your camper may need. Known for customized living quarters and horse trailers for over 18 years. We now specialize in RV insurance work. Talk to Ryan about how to prevent blowouts and oh yes, that leaky vinyl or rubber roof can be inspected and repaired also. Call or come by and see it all at RP Custom Trailers. Miss D's Sweet Sensations is a wholesale sweet shop located in Santa Mar, Louisiana. The business is locally owned and operated by Diane Bro. Now with 12 delicious varieties to choose from. You can find Mrs. D's Sweet Sensations in all of your local supermarkets and convenience stores. Made fresh daily by six full-time employees right here in Ascension Parish. Hey, store owners, restaurants, and caterers, if you're not selling Mrs. D's Sweet Sensations, you're not selling the best product on the market. All right, y'all made it into another booth. Let's get his name and where he's from. Yes, sir. I'm Dan Bristow with uh, Redneck Foods out of Vicksburg, Mississippi. My phone number is 601-540-1407, and I'd love for everyone to try my food. Here comes a guy. Come on, sir, try this. Look at here. We got a, we got a sampler right here. That's sure what I like to try. Redneck this. homemade salsa, the best. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, How long have you been making this? Uh, about two years. i got to warn you, sir, it is highly, highly addictive. He's trying it. Yes, sir. How was it? It is good. All right. Very good. good. That's it. That's and, and how many flavors do you have? I have four flavors. I have a redneck salsa. I have a Cajun candy, which is an old-timey chow-chow. I have raspberry jalapeno, 
which is a pepper jelly, and then I have the old-fashioned apple butter, just like Grandma oh, used yeah. to make, the best. Awesome. Say your phone number one more time. Uh, 601-540-1407. I'm out of Vicksburg, Mississippi, and I would love to put this in any store in the South Louisiana area. All right. Well, thanks for taking the time and talking with me, and thanks for trying it. Yes, and, uh, good luck this weekend. All right. Thank you a lot. It's been, been great. Yeah. All right, y'all made it to another booth. Let's get their names and where they're from. Hi, I'm Linda Price from Houma, Louisiana. I'm Karen Murtha, and I'm from North Little Rock, Arkansas. Well, tell me what all y'all got going here. It looks like it's... Well, right now, I'm making myself some uh, praline pecans made with butter, cream, and sugar. It's to die for. It's almost like eating a cookie. Oh, yeah. It smells really good. Well, How many you. flavors you got? Uh, we've got a cinnamon pecan and a cinnamon almond, both cooked exactly the same way. It's just cinnamon, sugar, and water. Over here, I got my sweet and spicy chipotle cashew. If you enjoy spicy foods, it's definitely worth trying. Wow, wow. So you make it here, and then y'all bring it back. I see you got the lady in the back This is our cooling here. station and bagging, yes. Awesome, awesome. Now, how can people get in touch with you? We got a Facebook page called Ozark Nuts and Candies and Nuts. And a phone number. And a phone number. I don't have that handy on me. Oh. That's the boss's number. But gotcha. if you go to ozarksnuts.com, you can find our web page. We also ship, and there's a larger variety of things to look at as well. We have chocolates available. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You're welcome. All right, y'all made it into another booth. Not only another booth, the fudge booth. Let me get their name and where they're from. Papa Lou's Homemade Fudge, and we're from Mobile, Alabama. All right. So you've laid this fudge out here, let it cool, and what are you fixing to do? Now we're going to take the bars off, and then we're going to roll it into a loaf. All right, take off. All right. And the smells are so good, y'all. It's, it's, it's really, uh, I, I'm a sucker for sweets anyway, but it smells really good. How many different uh, flavors y'all make? Normally we do about 14 flavors. Oh, wow, 14. And this is the fudge pecan. That's one of my food groups, I think, now, fudge pecan. But uh, what she has to do, we're going to see her here. Uh, I've seen her before. And then roll it into a loaf. Let's see how this goes. Uh oh, very gently, gently down the stream. Rolling it up. So it's going to end up in one big pile. A long loaf of look fudge. Like a, look like a loaf of French bread. Yes, indeed. Look at that. Well, that's pretty neat. Now, uh, y'all been doing this a while? We've been doing it for about 12 years now. Gotcha. And this is an old fashioned fudge recipe. The recipe's 100 years old. Wow. A lot of people buy fudge and they're like it just doesn't taste like grandma made it <laughs> well this one and does this one does this is the old timey fudge how can people get in touch with you to uh you to get some fudge? look up papa lou's homemade fudge on facebook or you can go to the internet and type in papa lou's either way and we can ship it out anytime okay and you want to give a phone number the phone number is 251-656-7229 Right, I'm having fun watching her play with the fudge here. So,
Hydraulic Fabrication and Repair, located in Santa Mar, Louisiana, has been in the repair business for over 37 years, specializing in chrome rod, hydraulic tubing, and new cylinders. The benefit of a fully stocked warehouse of seals and chrome rods puts you back in operation, in most cases, in three days or less. We make hydraulic hoses and manufacture cylinders, offering 24-hour service and also pickup and delivery. Give hydraulic fabrication and repair the opportunity to help your business. And remember, we can't fix it, it ain't broke! Gavis Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week, cooking demos on Saturdays, and customer service that will help you get the job done. RP Custom Trailers and Service is a fully stocked store for RV parts and accessories with essentials such as tank treatments, hoses, lenses, vents, power cords, cleaning supplies, and everything else your camper may need. Known for customized living quarters and horse trailers for over 18 years. We now specialize in RV insurance work. Talk to Ryan about how to prevent blowouts and oh yes, that leaky vinyl or rubber roof can be inspected and repaired also. Call or come by and see it all at RP Custom Trailers. Miss D Sweet Sensations is a wholesale sweet shop located in Santa Mar, Louisiana. The business is locally owned and operated by Diane Bro. Now with 12 delicious varieties to choose from. You can find Mrs. D Sweet Sensations in all of your local supermarkets and convenience stores. Made fresh daily by six full-time employees right here in Ascension Parish. Hey, store owners, restaurants, and caterers, if you're not selling Mrs. D Sweet Sensations, you're not selling the best product on the market. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp, tailgating, or planning dinner. We make our own cracklings, beef jerky, whole cut cheese, and sausage right here in the store. We also process deer and hogs. Junior's Meat Market has an abundance of groceries and frozen items, which include crab cakes, fried oysters, tilapia, and more. We have daily meat specials, and we cook plate lunches every other weekend. Stop by Junior's Meat Market today and bring home dinner. Lamar Dixon Expo Center, the crown jewel of Ascension Parish supporting community development and charitable organizations. The center offers a wide variety of activities, such as outside show arenas, fully equipped barns, a newly renovated 4-H building, an Acadian-style chapel, RV parking with bathhouses, and large and small banquet rooms, just to name a few. Located in Gonzales and surrounded by hotels, restaurants, and great shopping venues. Come enjoy what Lamar Dixon Expo Center has to offer. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com All right, y'all, we're judging the red bean gumbo cook-off, and this is my fellow judges here. And Let's get their names and where they're from. Hi, Sabrina Nussbaum, Metairie, Louisiana. Tommy Rowden, Clinton, Louisiana. And Dave Nussbaum, Metairie. Dennis O'Quinn, Clinton. Deacon Alfred Adam, Conven. Stu Barrage, New Orleans. Nia Shepard, New Orleans. Ryan Shepard, New Orleans. Warren Coupel, Bell Rose, Louisiana. Y'all, all of them were good, huh? Oh, yeah. They were fantastic. Man, what did did you find a favorite one? I did. It's 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 difficult, and and I changed my mind a couple of times. I had to go back three, four, five, ten, twelve times, <laughs> just to make just to make sure I got the right one. But uh, I did, and I guarantee you, my best pick 
it was probably not somebody else's right. best pick. Right, right. And I did too. I had I had a best one too, and I went back. You you found you found one that you really liked. Absolutely. But none of them were bad, y'all. No, 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 not at all. None of them were bad. Home. <laughs> all right, we're gonna see who wins this, y'all. We got it judged up. We're gonna have a winner soon. All right, y'all. Got the queens from this year. Let's find out who they are. Um, I'm Ashley Tucker, the Miss St. James Parish. And I'm your teen Miss St. James Parish, Cammie Hemo. All right, now, uh, what, what all y'all going to be doing? Where y'all going? Um, next, I actually have the Orange Ball to go to down in Plaquemines Parish. Um, we also go to the Bonfire Festival. We go around the full state, Bro Bridge, uh, Plaquemines, Gonzales, everywhere. Oh, wow. Anywhere those festivals y'all go? Yes. All awesome. around the state. Well, congratulations to y'all, Thank you. and good luck in the future. Thank you. All right, y'all, we found some folks sitting out enjoying the shade, eating. Let's get their names and where they're from. My name is Addison Wilkinson. I'm from Gonzales, and I'm in fourth grade. And I'm her grandmother, Kay Baker, from are Gonzales. Are y'all having a good time? Yes. Yes. I seen you cooling off with some, uh, what they call that? <laughs> Dipping dots. Dipping dots. And that's ice cream that's in little dots. I wish I would have invented that because I'd be rich. <laughs> right. And what'd you have? I had the pulled pork. How is it? Delicious. Y'all been having fun out here? Y'all bought anything? Beside the food? Y'all yeah, been looking around? Cookies. You come eat first and then haul all your <laughs> right. stuff to the car. Exactly, exactly. Well, so well, thank y'all for stopping and talking to me. All right, y'all found some mower folks out here having a good time, sitting in the shade, eating some really good food. Let's get their names and where they're from. I'm Catherine Dewey from Lutcher. Mike Crumholt from Paulina. I'm Shannon Crumholt. This is Sadie, and we're from Paulina. Braden Crumholt from Paulina. Michael Crumholt from Paulina. Y'all been having a good time today? Yes, we have. And y'all came before to this event? Yes, we did. Last year we got a rain off, but this year oh, yeah. the weather's beautiful. It is, it is. Have y'all, I see y'all enjoying some of the good food that's out here. Mm -hmm. Have y'all bought anything yet? Not yet. We're going to make our way through the booths after we eat. Go look around and see what you can find. Yep. See what you can't live without. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank y'all for stopping, eating, and talking with me. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. We got the winners here. First place, second place, and third place. And congratulations to y'all. Y'all did a fine job with stiff competition. Now, uh, now that y'all won, uh, who would y'all like to thank? Well, we'd like to thank uh, Uncle Larry's and uh, Blue Runners and uh, Poche Plantation for uh, putting this together. Yeah, same Uncle Larry's Blue Runners Poche Plantation and uh, Veron Supermarket for donating on Dewey. Absolutely. Uh, Uncle Larry's Blue Runner, Veron's, and Poche Plantation. Yep. Congratulations to y'all. Now, you got to come back and defend your title next year. Will do, will do. You going to come back and cook back again? And take, yes, take sir. Title. Yes, sir. We'll be here. <laughs> Congratulations, y'all. All right, y'all. Another great day out at Poche Plantation. I tell you, every time I come out here, I see something different. It's really, really nice. We crowned some new queens. We have a new red bean gumbo cook-off champion. We had some really good food. We met some really good vendors, listened to some good music. Had a good time, y'all. Y'all check us on Facebook, and thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking.